Welcome back, my friends. The news today is that Rivian reported better than expected EV deliveries for the third quarter. Rivian Automotive on Monday reported record third quarter electric vehicle deliveries and said it remains on track to produce 52,000 EVs in 2023. The company produced 16,304 vehicles during the third quarter, all at its factory in Normal, Illinois. Rivian took several steps earlier this year to reduce spending and bolster its balance sheet, including a 6% staff reduction in February and a $1.3 billion sale of convertible notes in March. The success of Rivian comes at a time when electric vehicle sales in the US hit the accelerator pedal, even beyond California. That is because lithium-ion battery cell prices have declined over 30% in 18 months. A key test for EV sales and the adoption curve is coming. What does it mean for Tesla and other electric vehicle sellers? What does it mean for the future of transportation? What does it mean for the US economy? And, what does it mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into that, please hit the like button. Please leave us a comment below, we would love to hear from you. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos. And, before we continue, a word from the sponsor of this video. Today's sponsor is ProWorldNet.com. ProWorldNet.com is a job website specifically dedicated to licensed professions. Doctors, including any type of specialty. Nurses, and that includes all grades of nurses. Lawyers, regardless of area of legal focus. Teachers and professors, from kindergarten through graduate school. As well as any kind of job that requires a government license or certification. And ProWorld.net also includes short-term gig-type jobs as well. So, be sure to check out ProWorldNet.com if you are looking for a job or an employee. Rivian Automotive on Monday reported record third-quarter electric vehicle deliveries and said it remains on track to produce 52,000 EVs in 2023. The company said it delivered 15,564 vehicles during the period, up 23% from the second quarter of 2023 and ahead of Wall Street estimates. Analysts surveyed by FactSet had expected Rivian to deliver about 14,000 vehicles in the quarter, on average. Rivian produced 16,304 vehicles during the third quarter, all at its factory in Normal, Illinois. For those of you not familiar, Rivian is an American electric vehicle manufacturer and automotive technology and outdoor recreation company founded in 2009. They produce electric sport utility vehicles, SUVs, and pickup trucks on a skateboard platform that can support future vehicles or be adopted by other companies. Rivian's vehicles are designed to be environmentally friendly, with a common goal of preserving the natural world for generations to come. The R1T is a pickup truck that can travel up to 400 miles on a single charge, while the R1S is an SUV that can also travel up to 400 miles on a single charge. Both vehicles are marketed as electric alternatives to rugged SUVs with truck-like engineering like Range Rovers and Jeeps but with technology that makes clambering over boulders relatively easy. Rivian's entire electric vehicle brand is built around the outdoor lifestyle, with a luxury glamping edge. With more electric vehicle choices than ever, EV sales in the US are hitting new heights. In just the first half of 2023, over 670,000 EVs were sold with over 80% of those fully electric battery electric vehicles BEVs. It took 8 years for the first million EV sales, but now more than a million have been sold in just the past 12 months. Several factors are likely responsible for EVs hitting a tipping point in sales. More EV models are now available, from small cars to pickup trucks, meaning more buyers have an electric option that meets their needs. More widespread adoption of EVs across the US is also a factor. We're seeing EV sales increase outside of California, the historical leader for EV sales. From 2014 through 2017, more than half of all EVs sold in the US were purchased in California, but that fraction has now fallen to one-third. While many Californians are used to seeing EVs in their neighborhood, it's only in the last few years that we've seen large increases in sales in other states. Florida and Texas are now second and third in cumulative EV sales, despite state leadership that has been antagonistic towards EVs and a more conservative-leaning population. The higher EV sales volume in Florida and Texas is in part tied to the higher population there, but there are signs that buyers across the political spectrum are interested in EVs. Many buyers are likely swayed by the fact that they can save money on gasoline and greatly reduce their emissions at the same time. Gasoline continues to be at near record prices and as we see more impacts from climate change people are interested in what they can do to lower emissions. Switching vehicles from gasoline to electricity is one of the most effective actions households can take to reduce their contribution to climate change. 
It also doesn't hurt that today's EVs are fun to drive and can take advantage of a quickly growing network of charging stations. Switching from gasoline to electricity can greatly reduce heat trapping emissions. Transportation is the largest source of heat trapping emissions in the US and the passenger vehicles many of us drive are responsible for the majority of transportation global warming emissions. Electric vehicles, EVs, can eliminate tailpipe emissions altogether and are also more efficient than gasoline vehicles, making EVs an important technology for reducing both global warming and harmful air pollution from personal transportation. Because of differences in electricity generation across the United States, the emissions produced from driving the average EV varies depending on where the vehicle is driven. Despite this variance, driving the average EV results in lower emissions than the average new gasoline vehicle everywhere in the United States. Recharging an EV at home also can mean significantly lower costs in addition to lower emissions. For example, electricity in Dallas costs between 13 and 17 cents per kilowatt hour, making the cost to drive an electric Ford F-150 100 miles between $6.20 and $8.15. And Based on the current gasoline prices, driving a gasoline F-150 100 miles would cost from $13.50 to over $28, depending on the version of F-150. Similarly, driving a Hyundai Ioniq 6 100 miles and recharging at home in southern Vermont would cost between $2.90 and $4.25, depending on the electric rate plan. Driving a gasoline-powered Hyundai Kona 100 miles would cost about $11.85. And looking at an electric SUV in Idaho also shows significant saving versus a gasoline SUV. A Rivian R1S costs about $3.70 to drive 100 miles when recharged at home. A Dodge Durango refueled in Idaho would cost $19.50 for the 6-cylinder model and over $24 for the 8-cylinder version to go 100 miles. More US drivers are picking EVs than ever before because EVs are a better option. EV sales in the US are ramping up, in part due to more models available than ever before. This is good news for slowing climate change as EVs produce much lower emissions from driving now, and this will get even better as we switch to cleaner sources of electricity. It's also good for households across the US as switching from gasoline to electricity can have significant saving on refueling costs. One of the biggest hurdles to electric car proliferation is the cost. According to Cox Automotive new EVs are selling on average about $5,000 more than gas-powered vehicles, $53,469 versus $48,334. While government incentives can negate some of that gap, and electric cars don't need pricey gasoline or as much maintenance to drive around, consumers still don't view EVs as a bargain buy. That might be about to change. For the last decade various research firms have postured that EV batteries need to see prices decline to $100 per kilowatt hour in order to achieve parity with gas cars. In July the average weighted price of a kilowatt hour worth of battery dropped below that for the first time in two years. In spite of significant monetary inflation, prices are still dropping, and soon the price of an electric car drivetrain will be less or equal to a gasoline vehicle to produce. The biggest single factor in this price cut has been passed on from the value of the raw materials. Lithium prices have halved since the beginning of 2023, cobalt prices have reached their lowest in history, and battery metals like nickel are down 25% so far this year. Additional reductions in price come from government subsidies, stronger market competition, and improvements in battery chemistry. Chinese-produced NCM811 battery cells have dropped to just $82.60 per kilowatt hour, which is there or thereabouts the price point needed to assemble a $100 per kilowatt hour pack. This is a far cry from where lithium-ion battery packs used to be. When the original Nissan LEAF was introduced back in 2011, the average price for a KWH of energy was near $1,000. To literally see that price decimated in just 12 years is pretty astonishing, especially when recent sky-high inflation is connected. With a new source for lithium having just been uncovered at the McDermott Caldera, a long dormant supervolcano on the border between Nevada and Oregon, it's likely those prices will only continue to come down. It could change the dynamics of lithium globally, in terms of price, security of supply and geopolitics. The US would have its own supply of lithium, and industries would be less scared about supply shortages. Of course the cost of batteries is only a piece of the EV pricing pie. The American market seems to be migrating toward only large, tech-heavy, luxury-focused, and long-range electric vehicles, which are always going to be expensive. Rapid proliferation of EVs in Europe and Asia has been largely driven by lower-cost compact EVs with shorter range. Even at $100 per kilowatt hour, a car is going to be expensive as heck when it's fitted with a 200 kilowatt hours pack. 
Typically, EV battery prices are reported in terms of cost per kilowatt hour. In 2021, the cost of lithium ion batteries, the most popular type of battery used in EVs, dropped to between $100 and $200 per kilowatt hour. This amount was significantly lower than in prior years. Large scale production of batteries saves manufacturers money and comprehensively reduces the price of electric vehicles. Electric vehicle manufacturers plan to make electric vehicles cost competitive by building more battery factories and creating aggressive prices in the battery market. Now, market research firm Trend Force released a report on Thursday showing that the price of batteries used in EVs and energy storage dropped 10% in August as a result of the slowing demand for the cars. The company also noted that additional price declines are anticipated throughout the rest of the year. What do you think? Please hit the like button. Please leave us a comment below, we would love to hear from you. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.